All right, guys. So, um, I I kind of messed up. Um, uh, the footage for part two of the two towers is inaccessible. Um, I had it on a hard drive. I, I it was dumb. I didn't back it up. I hard drive stopped working for absolutely no reason. I can see the file. It's on there. I just I can't copy it over. I went to a computer guy. He said he doesn't really know how to do anything. But if if I wanted him to, he could charge me five hundred bucks to maybe probably not fix it. It's a whole deal. I could complain about it. I could blame a bunch of other stuff. Look, I, I feel bad. I feel like it's really unprofessional. You know, you guys are expecting reactions. I'm trying to kind of, you know, do a bit of a business and deliver those reactions. And I failed. I didn't back it up. I, I was too rash about it. Anyway, bottom line, I don't have it. Here's what we're going to do, though. Before you guys run out of here and, like, screw this reaction video, here's what I'm going to do. Here's my peace offering. In the description, there is a link to the full reaction of part two with the audio. So that's all I have, but I do have the audio playback and I have, I'm gonna put the full reaction. It's gonna be free. It's gonna be for all of you guys. Once again, I'm so sorry. You know, it, this is my fuck up. Oh, look, I, I don't know. I, I, could, I could say a bunch of stuff. I, I'm sorry. I won't let this happen again. I hope you guys understand and, and I hope, you know, some of you guys are willing to stick around for the return of the king. But yeah, uh, link in the description. Enjoy the reaction, guys. All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Nantel Brush. I'm Nick. And today we're going to be watching part two of The Two Towers, extended edition, Lord of the Rings, the greatest film series of all time. Uh, if you're watching part two, you probably already know. I've seen it. My brother's seen it. Nantel Brush hasn't seen it. We love it. Hopefully he's falling in love with it. We're in the middle. The Rohirrim just got to Helm's Deep. Aragorn just ran off a cliff with a warg. And uh, yeah. As always, you guys want to watch next week's episodes up on Patreon. You want to support us, check out the full-length reactions also up on Patreon. Let us know if you want us to watch The Hobbit. Go check out the merch. I'm going to shut the fuck up so we can watch this movie. Wasn't that pretty awesome? Dude, the end was freaking sick with the, the whole Gandalf coming in. and I totally forgot about the other Riders of Rohan or whatever. Yeah. That he was going to go get. <laughs> So I was like, oh, was Gandalf going to come in and do some magic stuff? It's like, no. Nope. Like, oh, wait. Yeah. I think the Battle of Helm's Deep is one of the coolest, if not the coolest uh, battle in cinema. Like, it's one of the coolest battles in cinematic history, honestly. Yeah. And people like Game of Thrones and people like that have tried to top it. I don't think anyone has yet. Yeah, it's it's such an impressive work of filmmaking like the whole sequence I, I think i was just sitting watching the last 40 minutes yeah like i know i didn't even say much I, it was just so know, amazing it was just, yeah it was so, really well done and the way you were saying it too technically like as far as like you know keeping track of you know parts of the castle and things like that and being able to you know explain to the viewer like visually and with words and stuff like how the battle's progressing, kind of like, okay, yeah. they, you know, blew up the little drainage thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now they're going to the middle, but they're also trying to, you know, get to the side and stuff like that. It's good, they did a really good job as far as, um, technically speaking, so that was cool. I was able to follow the battle very well. Um, the, the, I like the, like, seeing the elves in action, they were really <laughs> cool, like, oh, yeah. like, the way they were kind of, freaking Haldir gets I mean, killed? Yeah, true. I, didn't, I wasn't expecting, like, you know, him to die, like, now, you know? Well, how, how many movies are left? There's just one more. One just more movie one left. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, no, it's no. I probably like thought four and a half or something long. Yeah, it's a long I think the extended edition up. is, like, four. But no, that's, that's one of my favorite things about, and it's actually a change from the book. The elves don't come and help. In the Battle of Helm's Deep, I really like how we get to see the elves fight. I do too. And have them show up and kind of tie in Elrond's story arc as a character to send. Well, assistance. even more too, I think Galadriel, because Haldir was with Galadriel. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, they don't mention it. He's like, "Oh, I come for Elrond," but in my mind, I'm like, it's both, and it's not a right. lot, but the el it's a it's a sign that they still have hope yeah. for men, and that that to me is the whole message of like. Lord of the Rings is like that idea of hope. There is still hope, and yeah. you can't give up, and you can't turn back because, yeah, it, it was yeah, so yeah, cool. Yeah. I was looking so much for it. like when Barry was like, "Who is this?" I was just like, oh. <laughs> I was like trying to I look know, over the whole I time. I mean, that's it's <laughs> one of the really cool parts of the movie. And... That's just so well done. I mean, it's so much more epic than the first one, right? I mean, like they're yeah. both good in their own right, but this one like ups I, the ante. I do yeah. enjoy this one a lot better just because. 
you know one of the things is like we get to see like not just the world and stuff but also like people in action like the battles and stuff yeah like, it was they had some big battles this time you know even like the little skirmishes were yeah. pretty crazy you know but the uh the wars or whatever and then the um you know even stuff with the trees and stuff like, yeah oh, dude, dude the ants, ants like charging in is yeah, like heck dude that's cool you know and i like seeing um you know just different things like heck that there even are ants like in yeah in different from the trees doing things and yeah. stuff you know and that was cool. I think some of the ant scenes were a little long in the extended edition. Yeah, well... Like, that was to me where I was like, I see why this wasn't in the theatrical cut. And, I, like, I totally get it if you'd like it, but that was the biggest thing that I noticed between theatrical and extended... Because I liked a lot of the extended scenes. Though there were some cool yeah. scenes between Gandalf and uh, Aragorn. There was just a few cool extended... The the face-off... Is the face-off with the Nazgul? Is that... That is, isn't it? Is that exciting? No, it's original. I, don't think they I can't remember. Anything. At the very end, you mean? Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. In the original, that's in the original, though. right? Okay. They but might have added a little bit of extra. Footage. I think they might have added a little bit. Maybe I'm crazy, but I I enjoyed most of it. That was the only part where I was like, all right, this is a little bit. It kind of takes you out of it a little bit because you're like in the midst of Helm's Deep, and then I was kind of like, all right. But it's still funny. Yeah. It's still good in its own right. I just yeah, it, it did feel a little bit out of place, but like you know, I mean, it's just more information. Kind of, yeah. it wasn't like terrible or anything. Yeah. So. I like how they show how they introduce Faramir as a character. Yeah. And how you kind of get. I do like how they extend the scene. I love that scene. That's not in the original cut. Just the flashback of seeing him and Boromir yes. interact. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and just kind of set up their dynamic. I feel like it does a good job, especially having some extra scenes explaining Faramir's motivation yeah. for why he would respond to Frodo that way and want to bring the ring to Gondor. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like he's just a bit intent, like, like because of his rough upbringing, like, and it stays true to his character, even letting them go, like, I think he's a little bit, like, I don't think he treated Gollum maybe how he should have, even yeah. at the end, but it's just like, I feel like that is part of his character, and that's because of his upbringing and rough past, or even, like, the end, where he's, like, grabbing him, and he's like, don't, like, don't you let them, that's just very, yeah. it stays consistent with his character, even when he is doing the right thing, and I like that, and they set up for that by showing the flashback and kind of the dynamic yeah. and different things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, the, uh, seeing the other, like, not the other, um, kind of armies, right? Like, the other evil humans? Yeah, or like yeah, like yeah, the yeah, Easterlings, yeah, the Easterlings and the, and the Southrons, Southrons, Southrons yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I also like seeing those, like, the huge elephants. And the wildlings things, like, or whatever, like, oh, they yeah. are the wild men, yeah. Yeah, like, those are all crazy and stuff, and I also like seeing a little bit more of, um, Merry and Pippin. Yeah. Yeah. And seeing, like, how, um, I think it was Merry that was... You know, getting a little annoyed at how slow things were progressing as far as the ants yeah. and stuff. And it showed that sort of, like, fire in him, you know? Like, yeah. heck, you know, we gotta do something. But it's like, you know, you think about it, and, like, they were just two hobbits that happened to came, come along or something. And now they, like, you know, almost sacrificed themselves trying yeah. to save Frodo. And then they're, you know, moving the trees, literally, you yeah. know? That's yeah. kind of cool. I like seeing that. Well, I feel like that's the... I really like the way they do the storytelling, where it's like, the first movie is like, all right, there's some serious problems. And then the second movie, for everyone, and I like they do this for Mary, they do this for the trees, it's like, yeah. realizing that this is more than just a battle or a skirmish, and even that end where it's like, we won Helm's Deep, now it's the battle for Middle-Earth. And it's like this like ring where it like starts out, and it's getting bigger, and now it's like, all right... Now everybody realizes the stakes. Like, what the hell's <laughs> like? What's happening next movie, yeah. dude? Yeah. Speaking but, of the event, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, exactly. Before the you know the the finale final trilogy, huh. are there any like character deaths or lo- you know living or like just? I know it's hard to predict I, specifics. Cause cause I'm pretty like, good about killing people, honestly. Lord of the Rings is like pretty savage about it sometimes. I think Frodo. They did ha- mention him, like, I forgot. Who it Galadriel, was. wasn't it? Yeah. She Galadriel. said, like, you have foreseen to Elrond or something that the halfling must die or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. So I'm worried about Frodo now, like, because I can definitely see that, like, see that as a possible, like, outcome. Yeah. yeah. So th- that's making me a little worried, like, actually, you know? Yeah. It's not one of those, like, okay, you know, Gandalf kind of yeah. maybe dies. Yeah, it's yeah. like one of those things where it's like, no, Come back as Frodo the White, you know. I don't yeah. know if that's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. His <laughs> blonde <but>. hair. <laughs> yeah, it was all like upgraded. It's, it's like, like red. Instead of curly, it's like straight. <laughs> Please. Uh, His feet are cleaned up. Yeah, exactly. Although the hairy hobbit feet are like groomed. <laughs> 
goodness to him. Uh, yeah, I don't know, though, because they do a good job with the side characters. Like, like, there's a good amount of side characters that they could knock off that would suck. Like, you got Aomor and Eowyn now, and yeah. Faramir. And, like, they said Faramir was going to die just by law. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to go. I want to know, like, um, what, what do they call the end? The the human with the tree the gondorians the, the, gondorians yeah, the, yeah i don't know if they're gonna like because they're obviously gonna have some role to play in the next one or something yeah you know? i want to see if they're you know gonna turn around and stuff what, what the heck's gonna happen with the king and stuff because you know the king is obviously a little you know it's a little off yeah, but yeah yeah but i want to see like how that turns out and then the whole deal with saruman and stuff right yeah, so Saruman lost, but you still have Mordor left, and yeah. you still have, you know, uh, Minas Tirith basically on, like, like Mordor's winning on the Gondor front right now. Yeah. So, yeah, who knows? But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, if you guys want to watch the uh, next movie, that is going to be up on Patreon. Full-length reaction of this movie is up on Patreon. It's basically, the full-length reaction for this is just me and Nick sitting with our mouths open drooling over Helm's Deep. <laughs> I think I was smiling the whole it was, it was cool the whole movie, just time. enjoying watching it. Was it was amazing. But yeah, if you guys want to go check that out, it does support us. Like I said, let us know. Do you want us to watch The Hobbits? Uh, you know, let us know in the comments. It's it's up to you, the people. And uh, check out some of the merch. It's pretty cool. We got the some Gondorian merch, some uh, merch for the Rohirrim, some merch for uh, the Ring Wraiths. So yeah, go check it out. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.